Well, I just got this today for forty dollars. It's a silver tone AM shortwave radio. I don't know anything about it yet. I just picked it up like five minutes ago. He had originally wanted seventy-five, but he lowered the price to forty-five, so I got it for forty-five. Excuse me, that what I said. Uh, anyhow, it has uh, it's like an on-off here, or just volumes, volume here, and it has a tone control. Let's say it's off there, probably low tone and high tone. And over here it has the bands. It has A, B, and C. I'm sure, it's probably short wave and long wave or police band. Over here it shows A, B, C. Is A is the broadcast band, and uh, it's got B 1.5 to 2.5, and C is 6 to 18. It has some presets, six preset buttons here. Looks like they used to use it here in New York for a while because it has all the New York, Buffalo, New York stations on here. WGR, WBEN, WBNY, WKBW. And that actually does work if I press one of these buttons. It does spin the, uh, you can see the spin here. Each time I press it, it spins to another location. Uh, but the uh, the uh, pointer is way over here on the side. You can barely see it there, and it's not connected to the uh, dial. The dial string's broken for that. I'll have to fix that. It's the first time I had to fix one actually, and all the radios I've done. And on the back side here, I'll show you. It has a loop antenna. Not sure if that's original. Looks like it's kind of small for this kind of radio, but it might be original. I mean, the wiring looks like the original wiring, the cloth stuff going right up to here. The cord, as you can see, is totally trashed. It has a transformer, and it looks like a five. Looks like it's a rectifier tube. I was able to read it while I was in the store. I think it was a 5Y. It says 5Y something, so it's a 5Y3 or something like that. Or maybe it's a. F Not sure. I have to look at the schematic. And it has a. Uh, a can with three electrolytics right on top, a cardboard can on top. That's something I haven't seen. 2020 20 and 25. I've got all them in my stock. And it's got uh, some other tubes there. And in the back, you can see one dial light bulb is gone, but the dial string here is missing. The dial string also goes down inside here for the tuner. That's attached. It's on there. You can see that one going up front and back. I don't know if the dial string's laying in there or not. Probably is. I'll probably be able to find it and maybe I can fix it. I'll have to order some new new string. It's got the tag in here for the layout. And it's actually got a small schematic on it too. It has a uh, antenna connection, ground connection. It's got the speaker connection here, but it also has uh, input for a phonograph or television. I guess you'd plug, use that little tiny plug there. I could plug a phonograph into that. A speaker. I'll tell if it's original or not. It's pretty rusted. But, oh no, everything looks like it's there. I should be able to get it, get it going again. Sears Roebuck and Company, it says. This is the first Sears one I've gotten. I got a silver one upstairs, but it's a real small, small silver tone. This is a model number R71. I'll 
to look that up and get my schematic. Well, this is a project I wanted something I'm kind of I need something I could take some time on, you know. Give this away as a Christmas present maybe to one of my brothers or sisters. It has another antenna over here too. It's got that got the loop antenna. It's, I assume it's for AM. It's got this antenna here that wraps around the around the top. Just one single wire right here. I assume that's probably see it's gonna either be the one of the waves here, short wave, long wave, or medium wave, or and there's another one here, self-contained aerial system. Radio net. Another one behind that. Just inside this thing. It's like feels like looks like it's actually tin. Gold colored tin or brass. Hmm. Alright then. I'll have to start working on this. No hurry on this one though. This glass looks like it's in, sh in, in good condition. Just dirty. The uh, cloth is trashed down here completely. I'll have to make a new one for that. Get something that looks something like that. As far as the wood, it's not too bad a shape, most of it. Down towards the bottom, as usually happens on these things, all the stuff is peeled off and cracked. The veneer down there is all ripped up. Things down a little like that, I can probably change that over to make it this black, uh, like a, a dark ebony type of stain down there, and make it look real nice. Alright, time to get to work. I'll keep you updated on this one. Bye.